Hello, Tucker Kelly here from Municipal Farms, and today I'm going to show you the easier way to get the chickens in. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm also going to try to chase geese with the drone, and I'll talk a little bit more about the drone I'm using. But first, I got to get these rascals in. Haha, uh -huh, we got you in, chickens. And latch the door. I already landed the drone because it's hard to keep the drone flying and lock it if your drone doesn't have GPS. Now that I know you can chase chickens in with the drone, I wonder what else I can try. Here's a hint. So while the drone worked okay enough for getting the chickens in, it really didn't work all that well for the big tough geese. Because they just, when I flew the drone up to them, they just kind of ducked and tried to hide. They didn't run away from it. So kind of interesting, but it kind of makes sense too when you think about their mentality. Chickens are scatter animals, but geese are herd animals, which it's really not that bad to even herd the geese with a rake because they aren't scared of the drone. And the chickens, it worked okay, but it didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Last year, the chickens had a run with less trees and less small trees and less places to hide. And the drone worked great for chasing them in there, but the chickens run this year with some trees. I'm really better off just waiting for it to get dark and them all going by themselves and shutting them in. However, chasing them in with the drone is still way more fun. So let's talk a little bit about the drone I'm using. This is the drone I'm using. It's the Bugs 3 drone by MJX RC. It's distributed by Drocon. It's the blue model, which is probably the cheapest and simplest of them. It does have brushless motors. There's good battery life. This is the battery. It's huge. Replacement batteries and extra batteries are pretty cheap, around 30 bucks for two. But the problem is with this, it doesn't have GPS, so it's very hard to fly and do something else. It's, it's like a basic quadcopter, or it's a good, uh, good hobby drone. It's designed to put a uh, GoPro Hero 3 or Hero 4 on it. I've been using my GoPro Hero 3 Silver, but it definitely can lift something heavier. You would probably even use a GoPro Max if you just modified the attachment. One thing I did do custom on this is the landing gear that come with it are horrible because it's always in the shot. So what I did is I bent some metal pipe, or not metal pipe, metal bars into the custom landing gear and just electrical taped it together. And it's worked great. And as you can see from the drone footage, it's out of the shot. Not the most steady because it doesn't have GPS. But it's a good drone, and especially for the price that you can get it at, I think I got it for like 60 bucks online around Black Friday, so pretty good drone. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was of some help or enjoyment to you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also, if you're in the greater southern New Hampshire area and want to get some farm products from us, check us out on Facebook at Ms. Farms, link below. We've got goat milk soap. We've got rabbits, ducklings, hatching eggs, all that stuff. In the next video, I'll be giving you a tour of our summer chicken setup, and that'll be a fun one. So stay tuned. It'll be out 
Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Thank you for watching.